Okay, first off, let me put this into perspective. I need to do this because up until a few weeks ago, I did not realize what Starfield actually was. I was conflating it with Star Citizen for some reason. But for those of you who are Fallout fans, then Starfield is that, but an evolved version. And I've been studying it extensively. In fact, Fallout is so much like Starfield. It has the same special dialogue options, certain traits that allow for beast taming, enemies that look to be mutated and give you legendary rewards, the classic factions wherein the lore behind them, I'm sure, runs deep. If you didn't know what Starfield was, well, I'm here to tell you that you need to pick this game up if you're new, but especially if you've played the previous games. And one thing you must know about the developers of Starfield is that they have an almost immaculate and I said almost immaculate track record with the exception of Fallout 76 when it comes to making open world and engaging games. From the post-apocalyptic masterpiece that is Fallout to Skyrim where you embody the role of the ultimate dragon slayer and much more, both games have a very dynamic open world rivaled by few. And for the first time in 25 years, Bethesda Studios are unveiling a brand new universe. With this in mind, it only leaves to my imagination what Starfield has in store for their open world. I mean, it's only set in a futuristic universe promising to deliver an immersive experience where players can explore vast galaxies, encounter unique civilizations, and embark on epic space adventures. That is so profound in so many ways. Simply because the open world is not confined to a specific area on Earth or wherever the place may be. It is actually a multi-dimensional experience with multiple planets and civilizations to explore. Now, this is no small feat. That being said, I hope you're ready as I am. So if you'd like to join me on this epic transcendental journey, then like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here, because I'm definitely covering Starfield on my channel. Now, if you're a fan of Bethesda Game Studio and you have played their previous titles, then you're familiar with the basics of combat and overall gameplay mechanics. But if you're new, then you're in for a treat because the way the system works in Bethesda is following their original formula as to how builds and skill progression with gameplay works. Then everything that you do, whether it be in the realm of stealth, mischief, or all out combat, based on how you decide to play will autonomously upgrade that. So you're rewarded for the style you prefer to play. This is one of the most natural progression systems I've ever experienced. For example, if you like to steal things and you spend a lot of time crouching, then the more you crouch while moving, the more that particular stat will be upgraded. These are just a few of the skills that we know of so far, which you can eventually upgrade as you play. Physical, social, combat, science and tech. I actually made a video going into detail about what they all do how they work and everything. But at face value, looking at these, you obviously see where they will generally take you. So many perspective playstyles that offer a lot of replay value to the game. Oh yeah, and Starfield will also be first and third person depending on what style you like to play. And if you didn't know any of the lore behind Starfield, basically what role you play, then here's a brief overview. The year is 2330. Humanity has ventured beyond our solar system, settling new planets and living as a spacefaring people. From humble beginnings as a space miner, you will join the constellation, the last group of space explorers seeking rare artifacts throughout the galaxy, and navigate the vast expanse of this settled system. That sounds pretty dope, which is why I believe that this game will be a generational title. Although there are a few games that offer a generational experience, Cyberpunk 2077 was in development for seven years, I believe. That's a long time. We thought it'd be the greatest game of all time as it was being developed and they would give us snippets of what they were doing. But unfortunately, it had a lot of hiccups, bugs, and overall bad performance. At least that's what I and so many others felt. And Destiny, which promised a 10-year adventure with updates and expansions. So far, they've relatively delivered on their promises. But to me, Destiny is a false open world. I've always wanted to explore the beaten path of the moon in Destiny or some of the other maps, but all it does is show you what those areas could be. Because after a few seconds out of bounds, you're dead automatically. Not trying to downplay the map design in Destiny either. Not at all. Every game is defined as having its own style, whether it be the combat or map design. Just so happens to be that Bethesda Game Studio have mastered the art of open world in correlation to AI behavior. It's why I'm such a fan of this studio. And the only game I can say with not much certainty 
that has a crazy concept like Starfield is No Man's Sky. Never played it, but I researched it a ton. It didn't do enough to compel me to play though. It seemed more like an exploratory type of experience. The combat doesn't look like it offers much. I could be wrong, I don't know. Please comment below and let me know. But what I do know is Bethesda and how they are about doing things. They are very thorough from all aspects of the play experience. It's like they want you to enjoy every single detail and this is what all that time spending in development was for. Micromanaging and mastering every detail. The game was first announced back in 2018 at E3 so it has sort of the same dragged out perspective as Cyberpunk did. Having people wondering if it's even real or if it will ever be released. That's not the case for Starfield. In fact, its release date is the 6th of September and there are two editions you can pick up. The Constellation Edition which is like 250 bucks or something like that and the Premium Edition. I think that's the one I'll be going with. And here's something about Starfield that I've been curious about. There's a feature wherein we will be allowed to customize our ships, augment them for more speed with boosters, defense for a more formidable hull, and for overall weapon system upgrades in combat. Now this is not like Destiny at all, in which case the only space combat or exploration you see is in the loading screens when traveling from place to place, but the ship customization will be very deep in Starfield. I'm just thinking of the potential special parts that can only be found on certain planets from a specific area. This is so exciting to me. And that aspect alone can be a build making perspective, a ship build, you know? Because when you're traveling to another place in the galaxy, you'll encounter other ships that will or will not attack you. You gotta be prepared either way. And get this, you can actually board the enemy ship. Kill everyone aboard, reap whatever rewards are there, and finally claim their ship for yourself. How insane is that? Now I know that many people, with how vast the game is, are thinking about performance. Of course, how the game will run smoothly with all that it has. Well, here are two aspects that will help with that issue alone. For one, they're not making the mistake that Cyberpunk did by allowing it to be released on every previous generation console. This forced the game overall to have less of a capability to perform as something considered next gen. Features simply could not be added because of this. Starfield is going to be available for next gen only, but it has been revealed that it will only be 30 frames per second as opposed to 60. That's okay with me. And I can vouch for this being a good thing actually. The game is huge, so 60 frames would take a toll on a performance naturally. I'm more of an advocate for gameplay over mechanics anyway. Overall, the community and I are really anticipating Starfield. We have been for a while, but even more now since its release date is right around the corner. What Starfield feature are you most excited for when it releases? What's the first thing you're gonna do once you have the freedom to explore? That's a question I'm curious to know in the comments below. I appreciate you listening to the end and I hope to see you on Starfield. If this video was insightful in any way, then be sure to drop a like. Also, subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you in my next video. Be right out.